Welcome back, my uh, my radio friends. So, in my last video, um, I described to you uh, a junction box that I made. I guess it's basically an antenna splitter uh, that I made for my portable shortwave uh, radios, uh, which has very easy um, connect and disconnect, and um, it just offers me a way of making quick connections to my uh, exterior antenna. Um, as I said before, this is not, uh, this is a very crude uh, electronic thing. Uh, it's just basically uh, wired uh, sockets, uh, <clears throat> wired in parallel. And my intention is not to uh, just put three uh, radios on the same antenna. Typically, I just do one uh, at a time. If I'm comparing radios, I'll put two at a time hardly ever put three um, there tends to be something that's always plugged in but it just uh, affords me um, easy access I guess it's kind of a bus really for uh, the various uh, radios and tennis uh, radio connections that I use so uh, I'm today I'm going to answer the question at least for me anyway and maybe for you if you're interested in something like this um, does it significantly reduce um, the signal, either the strength of the signal, the quality of the signal uh, that's coming through when two radios are, are plugged in at the same time, um, or any unwanted noise or interference. And I'll just uh, start from the get-go saying that, uh, yes, I do encounter problems with this, especially if I'm using this, well, I can't do multiple radios with um, uh, an SDR, uh, which I, I don't use very, I, I have one and I don't really use it that often, but I have noticed that there's a lot of noise that kind of feeds back through. Uh, there's other radios that do kind of feed back through uh, and, and create noise issues. Um, but today I'm going to just do a, uh, an experiment with uh, two uh, portable radios here on my desk. Uh, both of them have uh, external antenna uh, sockets. And um, we're going to just listen and see if there's any discernible difference in kind of typical uh, signals on shortwave. So let's take a look and uh, see what we find. All right, so here we have on my desk, we have this uh, very sweet Sanjian 909X, and we'll be running that together with this Texan uh, PL. 600. Um, and uh, here is the aforementioned uh, antenna, uh, I don't know, call it a box or a splitter or something. And so here's my external antenna going in. Uh, and if you missed previous videos, this is connected to uh, about a 100 foot random wire antenna out in the backyard uh, fed by, by coax. So I am going to plug these guys in. This is, this is why I like this device, because it just makes it really easy to make connections. And by the way, I'm also using um, just typical audio cable, um, which um, I can probably do another test on that at some point. But I have found that uh, the audio cable works just fine. Uh, it, it has shielding... Um, shielding powers and I don't detect any noticeable loss of, of signal. So let's find something we can listen to. There's 650. When I plugged this in earlier it was pretty low and it's kind of fading. Let's see, but it's certainly a very listenable signal. And we'll do the same over here. It's actually pretty, pretty good right there, isn't it? Okay, so let me let me turn both of these radios on at the same time. Okay, just listening to this. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to keep them both powered at the same time.
it sounds a little, a little more no noisy than, a lot more noisy. So, again, I haven't predetermined what I'm going to find in this test. This is uh, kind of live testing. <coughs> so I may discover that this is uh, not a good situation. All right, so let's take a look at this Sanjian and let's... I'm going to go ahead and unplug um, the uh, Texan and see if there's any discernible change. There's a little bit of fading. Um, Here, a little small pop. But if there's any kind of degradation of the signal, I'm, I'm really not hearing it. Okay, let's, let's try the Texan, do the same thing. And while we're listening, I'm going to unplug the sand jet. Unplugged. Unplugged. Now I've got uh, WWV on uh, 5,005 uh, megahertz. And that's uh, a pretty, pretty stable signal, as you can see. And uh, let me try disconnecting the other radio. If there's any change there, it is not discernible to me. At the Dolphin, 10 hours, 53 minutes, coordinated universal time. And again, the Sanjian is also connected, and it's also on. back that thing up a little bit so it's not right next to it. Might be creating some problems. So here it is with the radio the other radio connected and now the other radio disconnected. So this is a pretty simple really demonstration. I'm not sure I proved anything. Uh, on the um, effectiveness of uh, using a very simple splitter for um, portable ham, uh, portable shortwave radios. And uh, for my purposes, I think the situation works out just fine. So thanks so much for watching. GoPro stop recording. Well, there is an epilogue uh, to this video because uh, as I was in the process of editing uh, the first segment that you just watched, uh, I was playing around with uh, actually the 600 on, um, on the 80 meter band, just listening to some hams. And, uh, and then I, without this radio attached, but I, I was realizing that there was a pretty significant uh, signal uh, uh, degradation, I guess you'd say, uh, with a uh, second radio attached. So I'm going to try to duplicate that moment for you now. This is... That'd be hard, carrying that little computer around when it's pretty handy. There's some yeah, AMs on 3818, single sideband. And uh, this is with the antenna plugged in uh, to two antennas, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, two radios. So we have uh, the Sanjian 909X here plugged in. And now I will unplug it. It's with just this radio plugged in. And actually, when I first, when this first happened yesterday, 
guy here. It just killed it. This is with both radios plugged in. I would have thought there'd be some uh, overload no. circuit or something that would trip, but uh, it just the shut it down when I put that breaker on. Plugged in? Yeah, that timer, it's on my water heater. Yep. I, I just disabled that thing. It just... So, um, yeah, I don't know. I got just a couple of observations on this. I know that wasn't really maybe conclusive, but what I did discover is that there's a significant uh, loss of signal with, uh, with both radios plugged in uh, when I'm listening on the, uh, the Texan 600. Uh, I don't notice it so much. I barely notice it with the uh, 909, so there is some difference there. Um, so... The, the point of this epilogue really is to say um, uh, this this may not work in all situations with a lot of stations that uh, and I, I think I keep saying in the previous video for my purposes this works um, there are definitely there definitely are limits to this uh, most of the things that I tend to listen to or I should say that I listen to most um, uh, are things where uh, you know a, a, a few dB one direction or the other doesn't make any difference at all because the stations sometimes are kind of booming in. Now, if you're really into weak signal stuff, definitely want to have uh, just one antenna plugged into this. Now, I could probably do an experiment to see if I experience uh, I experience any loss going through this at all. Right? Just you know. Uh, radio reception with uh, with something connected to this versus just kind of a direct uh, connection with the coax so that's a different experiment for a different day um, but but there you go yes uh, if you're into weak signal stuff single sideband things like that it's definitely going to uh, to impede your signal um, so it's um, for what it's worth Right, so I hope this has been interesting, and I don't know if it's informative or not, but uh, I'm happy to share with you my both my triumphs and my my struggles. So uh, for now, this is Tom. Take thanks for watching. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>